All right, everyone. I think recent comments from Jerry Jones are super, super interesting. So during a chat with USA Today Sports, Jerry Jones talked about Mike McCarthy and a possible extension. So this is a lot of quote here. So bear with us, but we're going to read the whole thing because I think it's all needed. I'm not concerned about that. Most of America gets up and they don't have guarantee, it guaranteed in front of them. You're going to write what you're going to write, but when you ask me about not extending him, my answer is that most of America doesn't have anything guaranteed down the road. Most folks don't have guarantees. I've had coaches in their final year before. He was talking about Jason Garrett. I just am comfortable like this. There's nothing that keeps me from extending him next week or during training camp, so it's not fate accompli that he's going to coach. I don't know if I said that right. He's going to coach this year without a contract extension. I didn't want to get into it at this particular time. We've had other contracts come up that we haven't extended. No reason other than I wanted to manage it that way. You've got a very significant problem in the NFL with dead money for coaches. It is because you've got extended contracts to where if you let somebody go, you've got to pay off their contract. It's gotten to be so much of an issue that you can decide if you want to do what you do this year and reshuffle the cards next year with them. There's nothing that says I won't be extending those coaches next year. They're all good coaches. Obviously, that's just the way I do it. I'm doing it to be very candid with you because we have such a problem with dead money with coaches in the NFL. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. That is a lot. So let's start with this dead money because this is what he's putting the blame mostly on. Jerry Jones is right. The NFL even had to send out, you know, I think it was a letter. Could have been an email, whatever. They send out a message to NFL owners saying, hey, listen, you guys are paying a ton of money in dead cap for your coaches here because what they do is they hire a coach, they fire a coach before his contract's up, and then they're stuck paying not only that money, but then they have to pay the new coach that they bring in. And this is true. A ton of teams do it. It's because they figure, look, you know, we extend and then who cares? We'll just fire them even if we have to pay the fine. So or pay still pay out the contract and we're paying two coaches at once. So you look here, McCarthy or Jones is saying, we don't want to be doing that. That's smart. Regardless of what you think, that's smart. But I do think it shows another big thing, which is we said this with Dak, that they don't know quite yet what they're going to do. This is a proving year. They need to see if there's a future down the lane of Dak Prescott. Same comes with the Cowboys and Mike McCarthy, right? Jones understands McCarthy is a great coach, right? This idea that McCarthy is not a great coach is a joke. He's a very good coach. The question is, is he the right coach for this team? And by extending him more, right, what you're saying is he's the one that we're rebuilding around. doesn't make much sense to say that right now, right? Because Mike McCarthy might not be the coach for a rebuild. He might be the coach you bring in to an already solidified, like, look at what he's done with the Cowboys over the past three years. Forget the lack of playoff success, three straight 12-win seasons. He's been pretty good. Just He's just been good. There's no other way around it. He's just been good. And, um, you know, he understands, Jones understands this, right? Jones is sitting there saying, hey, man, you know, if we extend him, it's not that he's a bad coach, but if we extend him and then we decide to move on from him, I'm paying dead cap. Not going to happen. And like he's saying, hey, if it works out this year, I have no problem extending him. But that extension doesn't need to be on paper at this moment, right? McCarthy could coach without an extension. We still have him con under contract for this year. That's all that's needed for him to coach. And I think this is something that in the NFL and in all major sports, really, that people, it's just gotten away from people. Like this, you know, you hear like, well, if you're in a contract year, I'm going to sit out because I want a guaranteed next contract. It's like, well, you signed one contract that goes five years, right? So you're under contract for five years. You're supposed to play all five years. You're not supposed to say, well, I'm playing four years and I'm not going to play in the fifth year unless you give me a contract that gives me more. That doesn't make sense, right? That's not how the contract is supposed to work. But in many ways, the media is pushing it. Everybody's pushing that that is how things should be. Jerry Jones is right. You know, you, you got to, especially for a coach, why just extend? if you don't know 100% if he's going to be the guy. And like I said, Jerry Jones gets a ton of flack, and for some of it's deservedly so, but I think on this kind of stuff, he's right on the money, right? He's actually smarter than a lot of these other owners who, you know, just extend their coaches or they pay a coach that they bring in big money, then they say, you know what, we're not even going to give you time, we're just going to fire you, and then you're paying, you know, three different coaches at once because you couldn't just stick with one decision that you made. That's an issue. 
So thank you all for watching and we will see you next time.